friends! So today we're going to be going through my pink collection again <laughs> and um, I'm going to do like dark pink, like medium pink to dark pink pins. This is like the transition from the pastel to the purple. So there's going to be a few duplicates because I took some stuff off of my off of my Eda bag and I need to, I think the rest of this like fits somewhere else in the boards, but I think I got the most relevant ones for these boards. And it's kind of a struggle bus, you guys. I need more. I have more coming, but I get these from Ikea, and right now Ikea is still closed, um, to the best of my knowledge. So we had to order stuff online, and it turns out it takes like two months <laughs> for stuff from Ikea right now. So um, yeah, I'll get more soon. But right now you're going to get to see the overlapping pink madness. So let's go look. Okay, board number one. We have, whoop, this is from Felt Good Co. This one's really fun because it's uh, soft enamel and I really like how they use the colors here. There's a Miss Kika. These two are mine, the Peachy Kitten. And the donut. Um, this one's sold out right now, but I'm gonna do a new color of it soon, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I've got a Nutmeg and Arlo Narwhal. Let's get that. Oh, it's so cute. I love how tiny hers are. She gets so much fun detail. Um, this one right here, my inhaler, because I have asthma, <laughs> and it's pink, so it's perfect. Uh, but this one's by Free Radicals, and only buy it from them, okay? There's um, definitely counterfeits going around of that one which is a bummer. And this is one of my Kokeshi dolls. I'll move her out of the way. We'll come back over here really quick. I've got my Tough Broad Snack Squad, sweet. And then I have a matching one that's salty that goes with that. Um, and then my Keep Austin Cute. And then this is by Lux Cups, of course, as is this one and this one. <laughs> um, so, so cute. All of the Lux Cups all the time. And then this is by Magnus Clothing. She makes collars, and then she had this really cute pin um, made as well to go with them. And then let's see, let's zoom it back out here. We've got Sumomo. This is one of the first pins I got. I got this years and years ago at a comic convention, and I adore her. I still have my Chi too, because I like Chobits. I was excited. So this is probably my first like modern pin that I started collecting, uh, which is fun. I've got Eric Bukima, and this is a collab that I did with Molly Johansson of Wild Olive. She's incredible. Um, I've got a Emin Sprout, as always. This was by Misfit Menagerie. She does, like, handmade, is amazing, like, taxidermy, I don't know, her stuff is so, so, so cool. But she made these for a limited time, and I was really glad that I have it. I have it unironically. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do we have? We have, we'll go over here. This is my Rainicorn. I originally designed this um, for Pin Party Post, which was a subscription that I had a long time ago with a friend. And um, we stopped doing that, but I love this design so much, so I put it out in a different color. That's Christmas, and I love it. Um, this one's from Daily Disco, and it's Dolly. You know, you have to. A little Zillin. We've got a Sprinkle Bat. This was from uh, Craftcation when I went last year. Um, I was supposed to go this year, and I miss it. Hopefully next year we'll get another one. Um, and then this is one by Tiny Deer Studio um, that I got while I was in L.A. and staying with her. So that one's really fun. Lots of fun memories with that one. Um, let's see. We've got another Eric Bukima. We've got Christmas All Year down here. These are my cats. And then that's one of mine, too. This is like all of my stuff. I clearly make everything pink. <laughs> um, another Eric Bukima. And this is Band of Weirdos. Whatever. I'm getting cheese fries. And a little um, made by Squeak. Okay, so that's this one. And then over here, we've got this big beauty that I did in collaboration with Amy Rose Studios. Uh, I adore this pen. It's enormous, 
glittery and perfect. She's such an amazing illustrator, so definitely check her out. Um, this one's by Neon Cherry Studios, and this one is, it says, Internet Friends Are Real Friends, and um, it's one that I did. I still have it in the shop. I love it so much. And this is just a little vintage pin. You can see it's not, uh, it's like got a safety pin on the back, um, but Andy found this one. My husband found this one for me, and I love it. All right, we've got Pretty Candy Pin Company right here. <laughs> Crazy cat, I love it so much. Um, creature tie, this one went with a set of three that I had in the last video. We've got some um, punky pens, and this is one that I did in collaboration with Joanna Behar. A lot of the collaboration pens I did, my direction was like pink and sparkles and cute, <laughs> is what my people like, and they just kind of went for it. So. Um, this one is the only one I've done that has like a fun extra accent and I think it's really sweet. Uh, let's see, this is another Punky Pens Tuesday Bassin and I've got another one of these, uh, the pastel and like rose gold version in the last video. And that one is by Kate Gabrielle. This is a Disney pin because I love the Muppets. <laughs> and this one is by... Uh, my friend Danielle. She doesn't sell pins anymore, but I can put her Instagram down below. And then these are also Kate Gabrielle because I love Jurassic Park. Um, this one is one that I did. This is a Valentine's variant of the Gnome Knight that Andy and I did because he's got, he's got a little glitter sparkle beard. I don't know if you can tell. I love it. So cute. It's sold out, but we love making different colors of the Gnome Knight, so hopefully we'll make some more soon. Um, we've got some Nina, little me so happy. Um, we've got Emin Sprout. We've got Pink Owlette. Look how fun that is. I love it. I love the use because both of these are soft enamel with colored metal. And I think they handled it in very different ways and that works perfectly for both pens. I just think it's really cool. I'm such a nerd for how pens turn out because I love seeing how they're made. Um, we've got some Danny Brito, Lux Cups. This is OG Lux Cups. I love this one. And then we've got, this one is my friend Lauren. She has a burlap bag, but the, the pin brand is um, Lowly. And then this is one of mine, my little bad kitten at Christmas time. Little barn slick. Oh, I have this one twice. Get out of here, buddy. All right, another little Disney pin, because big, that's real cute. And a little Sparkle Collective, and another Eric Bukima, and another um, Tiny Deer Studio. I adore these little soft enamel ones. Clearly, I've noticed I'm talking a lot about these soft enamels, so maybe I need to try it again. I don't know. We'll see. So that was board two. Now, <laughs> this is the one that's really kind of struggle bus over here. <laughs> um, this is getting into, this is the more like, magenta into fuchsia into purple-ish. So let's see what we've got here. And then Sprout. Liana He, as always. I think I'm missing one of hers, but I have to get it. And then we've got Anne Danger. <laughs> She's so great. Uh, and Shen. Shen, that's her last name. <laughs> I follow her on Instagram, and that's her Instagram handle is that Anne Danger. This is one I did with Kelsey Kretcher. It's another collaboration pen. That I love. See her little crown of kittens? So cute. Okay. And we've got more Danny Brito. Always hungry. It's me. Um, this was a pin club one, the pin club UK one. And this is one of mine. This is one of the first ones, I think, um, maybe a fourth or fifth design I ever did. And I love it. I did this one with Andy. Andy helped me out with the, the concept. And I really like how she turned out. I'm going to polish her a little bit. All right, this one's 100% soft. A little old school Natal. I don't know if they still have these at Shoal, but I'll have it all linked down below. Two Punky Pins. Another Anne Shen pin. This is an older one. This is like, like three years old, I think. I love this one. This is Sugar Cube Studios. And then this is one that was a collab between Crocodile Jackson and Lux Cups. I love the um the tattoo collabs they do they're so so cool 
And then we've got, these are a couple of Emmons Sprouts. This is a Fox and Cactus down here. I know, she's like so hidden. We've got, this is um, a collab between Unicorn Crafts and um, my friend Courtney of Iggy Star Pop. Um, I just love, there, I showed another one. Oh yeah, right up here. There's the little um, ditto. So there's two different versions of that one. And they're so cute. Another Emin Sprout. I need to count how many I have of Emin Sprout because I think it's most of them. Um, another wizard. This is a different color we did of the wizard before we finalized um, the colors for the permanent collection. More Emin Sprout. See, like two different versions, you guys. I'm such a creep. I love everything she does. Um, this is one of mine, my little Mew Lip. This is another pin club from UK, Jade Boylan. This is Alorosaurus, Japan, LA, duh. Kawaii Goods, isn't this so, I almost said it's so sweet. And this is another one from Tiny Deer Studio, which is a spinner, isn't that fun? And then a Miss Kika. So this one obviously needs to spread out a little bit. So hopefully, I'll get my new boards in soon, and we can really, you can hear my son playing, um, and then we can really expand it all out and be gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. Uh, we've made a lot of progress, but we still have a long way to go. <laughs> I'll try not to fill it up too much in the meantime, uh, but actually I'm not going to try that because I like supporting pen makers. You can't make me stop. Thanks for hanging out. Um, uh, I do weekly videos. Like, subscribe. I always forget in these like more casual videos to do all that. But yeah, like and subscribe. Come hang out. Talk about pins. I clearly like them. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.